Coach Masson, uh, great year last year in the track and field world. Won everything you could possibly win. Um, what was your first experience like going to the GAC and the NCCAA? I knew most of those guys in the GAC and um, you know those two schools that that got it invited to be able to compete, Roger State and Oakland Christian. So it was, um, um, I would say, exciting for us because we knew some people. We were interested in finding out what Harding and some of the others would have. And hosting the meet was, was a lot of effort. So I, the weather was great at our conference meet. The competition was good. I, I thought it was pretty, um, you know, from all those years of the Center Athletic Conference and and it was always basically a duel with us and Waylon. It, it was exciting seeing all these new teams and um, the way they worked at it, the level of competition. So it was, it was interesting. I think, our, I think our athletes responded and, and enjoyed being a part of it. It was difficult not scoring and not winning, but you know, we just got to see you know, those days are coming and we need to be ready when it comes. The track program's been so successful. Do you feel any pressure to, to finish first? Is, is second not good enough at OU? <laughs> good question. Um, I I think they I think our athletes sense it. You know, they see the banners every day that they come to practice. Um, they have high expectations. Um, um, for us as a coaching staff, Coach Hurd and Coach Kennedy and I, we kind of feel the pressure, you know, when, when we're recruiting and, and dealing with it, we, we don't want to drop off. Um, I think um, that's been exciting about, and of course this is our last year for indoor NCCAA, because we're hosting two years by contract of NCCAA outdoors, we'll get two more chances. We're a lot of athletes, we get to be on our home track at a national meet and they'll expect to win those. The expectations in Division II is going to be very, I mean, we don't want to lower those expectations that, hey, let's be top 10. Do everything to be top 10. But, you know, just like being with those Emporia State and Angelo State at this meet at Wichita State and knowing those coaches well and spending a lot of time with them, there's a lot of very energetic, great facilities, uh, like for instance, Northwestern Missouri has broken ground for a new 300 meter track indoor facility. It'll, it'll make the fifth division two 300 meter track. Um, there's a lot of schools that are serious about it. For us to legitimately have a chance to win, we never want to say no, but we want to be in the battle. We want to be in the, in the, in the conversation. And, um, I, does that mean it relieves the pressure of winning? Not necessarily. It'll, it won't be easy to win our conference. So um, um, I, this year, indoor and outdoor, and next year, NCCA outdoor, definitely it's going to be, yes, we've come to win. Conference, we've come to win. Nationals, I think it'll be a little bit of a, um, um, trying to figure out how to play that game, try to figure out what kind of recruits, what events we can score in and how we can deal with it. What are the, what are the athletes in Oklahoma going to be like that in that, at that level? Uh, for instance, um, uh, I had a coach tell me at Wichita State, I, I appreciate the way you have so many Oklahomans. Well, you know, Oklahoma Baptist University was the only Baptist school in the state. If, if a kid wants to come here from Oklahoma, the chances of them graduating and staying in Oklahoma and being a, a faithful alumni and helping us in the future, it goes without saying it's a good choice. However, there's a sprinkling of international, sprinkling of, like we have two Alaskan girls and a girl from Maine. Um, we do have kind of a worldwide presence, but the heart of it is local, where uh, families come visit. I'm going to be interested to see my families go to New York. We had 28 families go to Indiana last year to watch us. Um, uh, we have a, so being kind of local gives a lot of um, um, instant, 
opportunities for families to back their children and, and for relatives to come. We have, a, we have be definitely the, the biggest presence at national meets, which adds a little bit to that expectation of winning. The kids really feel the, the support, they see the history, and they do whatever it takes to win. I, I, uh, I hope that there will be a day that I can say that that's gonna be true in NCAA, NCAA Division II. To wrap it up, we've got uh, one year behind us in the NCAA, and we're going to be hosting the national championship in outdoors. Uh, talk about the work that has to go into that and, and the honor of getting to host that. Well, we see a little bit, uh, a, a good example for us right now from Houghton in New York. Um, to be real honest, this was, you know, we only went one year indoor and outdoor. We went to Indiana Wesleyan and they had hosted it maybe seven out of the last 11 years. And honestly, they were probably ready for someone else to take it. We didn't see some of the prep or marketing that we're seeing from Houghton right now. Houghton has a national meet website and, and it's given us a little bit of impetus or a little encouragement to do our to start getting ready for our meet in April. Obviously, we've done a lot to get ready so far, but, but to get um, brochures and the marketing of it out, um, uh, encourage teams to come. See, teams don't have to come or necessarily, you know, like an NEIA school, do we go to NCCAA and then a week later go to NEIA Nationals? It's a tough choice for a lot of them. Um, it'll be interesting to see, we look at or hosting the outdoor national meet is, is kind of recruiting. How many teams can we encourage and help in any way to come? There were 21 teams that scored in Rome, Georgia last year, and it was Shorter's third out of four years of, I think, of hosting. And we didn't necessarily see their marketing and work at it. So um, uh, we kind of see the maybe the good and bad. Houghton has set a good standard for us to try to uh, uh, meet their intensity and and uh, excitement level for our outdoor uh, we'd like to get when we go to when we travel to New York we'd like to take a huge stack of brochures give it to all the schools we'd like to get a website going uh, so uh, parents can see the motel possibilities and what's in Shawnee uh, we hope the visitors bureau will help us get going on that and help us with some videos and things so we, we're working on it. It's our chance to shine a little bit. We've never hosted a national meet. Um, we are working at improving our equipment. We're working at um, um, making sure that the one thing we can't control is how good the weather might be. So we're hoping the weather would be great and people will come. We have um, several alumni that are manning the group to bring officials in from all over. We want 40 officials that all can uh, are, are experienced at their job, not just volunteers locally from campus. Even those are even those are very important, but we want some high-level people. So when a student athlete gets ready to compete, they see around them that professionalism, and it really adds to the national meet. Uh, so I would think that that question is uh, a reminder to me how much we how much we have to do. But we've already spent a lot of effort. Um, we want when people come this year to say, wow, we, Marcus Dan will be back. So we don't want to uh, be flippant about it or too casual. We want to make sure that it, we put our best foot forward and people see a, 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 a good product here for, for them to spend their two days at a national meet. And of course, what, everyone comes early and works out early. So it'll be a three day event for hopefully about 500 athletes. All right, Coach, appreciate your time. Best of luck. Good luck. Thank you.